More like Florida weather. So humid, it's so hot. And more is on the way today with highs headed for the low to mid 90s. Not cooling off much at all during the evening. Still by midnight, near 85 degrees. And with all the moisture in the air, it's going to feel really sticky and uncomfortable too. The heat index in central Iowa is already getting close to 100, even down through Creston, back through Council Bluffs. But up to the north, it's a whole different season. It's actually comfortable up in Algona. It feels like 75. You're like saying, hey, what's going on? Things are great today. While the rest of the state, central and southern Iowa, will be baking in those feels like forecast readings of near 105 degrees today. Now by midnight, it's still going to feel like close to 90 across much of central southern Iowa. And tomorrow, here comes another doozy. It's going to feel like over 100 for much of the state. But then watch this. Big relief is going to be moving in quickly by Wednesday evening and into Thursday. We will catch a bit of a break from the heat, but it's not going to last too long. Now we do have a heat advisory that has been issued for southwest Iowa. It's going to stay in effect until 8 p.m. That's where the worst heat indices are expected during the day today, so try not to work too hard or play too hard outdoors. Up to the north where the heat index is not a problem, you've been dealing with some more showers this morning. Very light rain continues from Mason City south of Algona through Humboldt and stretching back towards Storm Lake. This little thin line of showers is tracking off to the east and it's not expected to be severe at all. Overnight though, we did have some welcome rain that moved through the central part of the state and it brought us about a half inch of rain here in Des Moines. Some isolated totals a little bit heavier than that off to the west before the storms weakened and kind of fell apart. And we do have some more rain chances headed our way too. So let's time them out now with Futurecast. Futurecast is take most of the rain that's now around Highway 20 and kind of kills it off this afternoon, but redevelopment is possible near Waterloo and across eastern Iowa by 8 p.m. this evening. The rest of us stay dry today and tonight. As we go into Wednesday, though, by 3 p.m. in the afternoon, we're going to be watching for a complex of storms to develop across Nebraska and then spread in here during the evening. So by 7 p.m. between Highway 20, Highway 30, you could be dealing with some stormy weather on your Wednesday afternoon and evening. And then it slowly begins to work its way through the state Wednesday overnight and into early on Thursday. And this is going to signal the break from the heat, but it's not going to going to stick around for too long. Right now, it looks pretty out there, but it feels pretty uncomfortable. 88 now in Des Moines. The dew point all the way up to a tropical 74. So yeah, it makes it feel like 97. Take it easy if you're heading outdoors this afternoon. Highs are headed for near 95 here in the metro area. South wind, well, it's going to offer a little bit of relief, but it's that humidity that makes all the difference out there. Here's your eight-day forecast. Some stormy weather is possible late Wednesday into early on Thursday. And Thursday and Friday could actually be pretty enjoyable for outdoor plans with highs back in the 80s. Over the weekend, the heat begins to creep back in here with highs back in the 90s. And look at next week. Highs could be in the upper 90s. So this week could have just been a warm-up for what's to come next week.